Hi, Susan. How are you? Hi, I'm good. Well, first of all, where were you from? Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Perfect. Well, I'm glad that you're here. And who's this with you? This is my friend, Lori. Hi, Lori. How are you? Hey, I'm good. When I'm connecting, I keep seeing a little girl that's here that had died. Uh, my granddaughter passed away. And she was just a little girl when she had passed. Because right away when I'm yes. connecting with her, she's here. And she keeps she's telling here. me, she says, can you please let them know that I'm okay, that I'm okay, that I'm okay. She's acknowledging this. She talks about when I'm connecting that her family still has clothes of hers. So do you still have her clothes you kept here in the physical? Yes. Okay. No, that's her way of acknowledging that. And also when I'm speaking to her, did she drown here in this world? No, she um, had a terminal illness. All right. When I'm speaking to her, I keep feeling like my, my lungs are filling up with fluid. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever had happened, she had all fluid in through here because I feel that. And you know what? I don't want to make you upset, but spirit does certain things to let me know that she's there. And I keep hearing a gurgling. So that means to me at the end, there was an issue. What, I don't know if, if her mouth had to be suctioned or something was going on here. I keep hearing a gurgling. How do you All the with time that? she was suctioned. Yes. How about that? That yes. was, wait a minute. That was how they treated this? They used to have to keep suctioning her? Yes, we all su had to suction her. I am so sorry that you had to go through this. Yeah. <laughs> See, sometimes spirits will show me things to show me what they went through here in this world. And like I said, this was something that she was trying to get through to me because I kept hearing this gurgling and I kept hearing what sounded like a suction machine. Yes. So you yeah. all did that to keep her alive. Yeah, which she so, had a suction equipment in her, her bedroom actually. So first of all, she's saying to me, thank you for doing that for me. Thank you for doing that for me. Because she says to me, she goes, Matt, she goes, every day you saved her life. If you didn't do that suction, she would have drowned. Yes. And that's mm -hmm. what was so scary because she shows me people coming in in the middle of the night and late at night. And it was all around the clock that you would go in and you would suction her and have to clear her out. Yes. And yes. Somebody me, had to be in the room with her all the time. She says to me that you don't know how thankful she is because on the other side, she sees everything. Even though when she was here in this world, she tells me that you made her feel like every other child. And she wants you to know that. Oh, wow. That's because she awesome. shows me, she shows me, Matt, she goes, I never even felt like I was sick. She says, because she tells me, I don't know if it was you or the other grandmother or who it was, but she tells me your family used to come in and suction her and sing to her. And that you would go yes. and sing certain songs while you were doing it. Yes. Mm -hmm. So she says to me, I remember the songs and she keeps singing to me. You are my sunshine. You are my oh sunshine. My gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes. You just mm -hmm. got the chills. Yes. <laughs> that was your yes. that was your granddaughter's spirit letting you know that she was there. She also wants to thank you for putting the teddy bears in the casket with her. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> she just showed me that her teddy bears are there with her. Oh my word. Okay. <laughs> it says in Matt, she goes, they made me look like a princess before I died. We we always called her princess. She mm -hmm. tells me that. She says, and when I left this world, she goes, I looked like an everyday princess because she's bringing that through. She says, so she wants to thank you for that. And also she tells me somebody actually even bought her a tiara for her head. Oh my God. Yes. She showed me she slipped the tiara and she actually was buried with that as well because she's acknowledging that when I'm connecting with her. She says, and Matt, nobody knows this. Oh my gosh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Know mm -hmm. that one of the things that she said to me, she says, is Matt, she goes, you need to thank my grandmother and you need to tell her to go back and tell the family that I am fine. Oh she says, my gosh. I will. This is something that has hurt everybody about regarding her passing. Yes. But she absolutely. tells me one thing. This is so important. She says, Matt, my family was told that I was not going to survive here in this world. But That's when I right. was born, did they tell you she wasn't going to live past two? Um, that, that most children with her illness die by the time that they're two. Mm -hmm. That's her I way of acknowledging that. Because she just kept, she kept showing me the number two, the number two. So okay. I see that, that's her way of letting you know that when all those years that you kept her alive, that was not by doctors, that was by her family. Uh-huh. She says it yep. also, Matt, she goes, everybody wrote me such beautiful notes because she shows me some notes and cards that were left with her when she had died. 
Oh my gosh. Yeah. So she that's right. to, when she got to heaven, she got to, to read all of these things. Oh my gosh. This is unbelievable. <laughs> Your granddaughter tells me this. She says to me, you were like another mother to me. She says, I was there all the time. She says, and caring for her was like a full-time job. She says, it but was. You, you did it because you loved me. She says, but she's coming through right now because you go back and you go through so much hurt and you go through so much pain watching the way she had to live her life here in this world. But she wants to let you know one thing on the other side, she can walk, she can talk, she can move and she can speak. That's one of the things that we talked about at her funeral that now she can walk and talk and because she, she couldn't do that her last few years. I'm going to tell you she can do it now. Oh my gosh. She says, tell my grandmother this. She says, tell her that one day when she, when she passes, not for many, many years, but one day when you do, you will not recognize who she is. Oh, wow. She says, wow. because she says, I am completely healed. She says, so don't worry about me. Don't cry over me. She says, my soul is free. She says, and I am safe and at peace. Thanks to you. She says, so oh thank you goodness. for every single thing that you did. It's amazing. She's saying, this is not just a message for you. This is a message for her family. So please take mm -hmm. this back to all of them. Please let her, let them know she was here today. And more I importantly, will. that she is safe and at peace. I will. All right. Thank you. You're very welcome. We're going to leave you with that. Bye.